What's up guys? This is the Rofman and we are back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So the roundoff where we left off we are finally going to destroy the Cherokee faction by recapturing one of our former territories. So let's do this. Um, I've had a bit of a think since the end of the last part and I probably will attack the nations. I mean I... <laughs> I know I literally have just said I'm not bothered. Probably good to do. Just to conquer the map. Just to conquer the the region. Otherwise, if I don't do it, then all that'll happen is that they'll be there forever. And then my very last action will be to attack them, at the, you know, right at the end of this campaign. So I may as well just do it. I mean, that. well, saying that, the caveat there is depending on their political on the political ramifications if they've got any funky alliances for example um nothing clever here the army is so small there's no point doing anything clever no, i didn't really expect them to deploy very close to me or as close as close as they have Everyone, everyone else. Yeah, just push up. Doesn't not bothered at all about getting into a fight. Charge the crossiers of our lancers. Actually, let's get the sixty second involved in this combat as well. You guys also fight them. And then we'll send all our cavalry over to go take out the uh, to go take out their general. Ah, oh, these poor fellows are going to get in range just in time to receive a very patriot-esque fire by rank volley. So all the round shot comes piling in. Stop our artillery fire completely. Oh, you crossy yeah, as you fight the general actually, get my other cavalry. Oh no, you may as Whoa, back! I thought they had more than that. How it says, round shot, Native American warriors, take them out. How many times do they have to do this for me to listen? Lots of friendly fire. There you go, the Native American warriors. Change the gunner's target. Come on, charge them then. Everyone else, all my artillery, stop what you're doing. We may as well do this just to clock up a bit of fairly simple experience prior to the invasion of either either Europe or uh, the Indian factions, the Indian territories. Let's bring my general along for the ride as well. 
because that's the end of it. So let's continue. I think you probably lost more cuirassiers from my friendly fire artillery than actually through enemy action. Ah, eh, you're probably not. Oh, you might actually now. I was wondering if they would actually get their first Chevron level, considering the enemy was so close to the edge of the map. But yes, my general has got the Chevron level up, so they should get a small boost to their stats. There we go. And so ends. Good. And these are our people back once again, and the Cherokee are gone. Let's repair everything they destroyed, including all these economic buildings. So the Plains Nations. Yeah, protector of Dagestan again. Dagestan is protectorates with Greece, the Inuit, Nidus and John, Italian states, allied with Persia, Russia, Georgia. Yeah, now nah, we're not going to be doing that. What about the Inuit? Oh yeah, the Inuit are also at war with Dagestan. Right, okay. But still, we are now in a point, in a position where we can actually do some uh, good stuff. Let's disband all those men. Yeah, that church being, that farm being destroyed certainly wouldn't help. So, I could obviously build this into a uh, fishing village to help promote growth in Baton Rouge, but I really don't want to do that. Okay, let's get all my buildings upgraded again. Make sure Theodore is expanding or re rebuilding his army. Let's upgrade this drum. Oh no, keep that for a steam workshop. Major fishery here is <laughs> ready. Ready to rock and roll. You get to Cartagena. And embark, even though you've picked up a unit of militia. Bring you guys up to Louisburg. You're starting to build a trade fleet. So I might actually... Oh, really, I think. So let's see if that... Yeah, so now it's kind of immediately transferred all those men. So let's get you up to Newfoundland instead. Deposit the army there. Bring everyone back bar you and you. You come back to Louisburg. Then the sloop, you start the route back to Cartagena. Yeah, you've actually got a bit of damage, so you might just sit there and see what you can recruit militarily. General's bodyguard, native troops. I don't want to recruit anything from too far away. Just get a unit of line infantry. Philippe Babouf. We can move this sloop over to Tampico. Is New Andalusia, do you have walls? You do. Good. Um, because I have the cash, I'm tempted to drop walls on both these guys. So we've got an army down here ready to rock and roll. They're probably going to march against the Mughals, because they've got lots of very low quality units here. But I do want to get all my ducks in a row. So this army can leave here because it was formerly our territory anyway. Good. Um, so let's march you to over here somewhere. So we've got an army embarked here. We're going to have a second army embarked. Forward! For crown and country. Gathering then we're going to have a third army embarked, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Mr. Mirabeau, 
is going to lead the attack on Charleston, although it's not really much of an attack, but it's going to spur a lot of uh, a lot of unhappiness. Let's just say that. You can't leave. I would like to generate a priest to help try and convert the population because they dislike us intensely here. You can't really blame them. We did invade them and take all their stuff. Well, it's mostly resistance to foreign occupation anyway. Okay. Apart from that, I don't think there's a lot we actually want to do. Check the buildings. Yeah, so this these, this guy definitely can't leave this territory now. Yep, so we've built the port of Tampico. It's been upgraded. Let's get these some of these lower tier buildings upgraded. Steam pump self mines at max capacity. Clearances at Guatemala. We've upgraded the church school. Roads, commercial basin. You're not ready to be upgraded yet because we don't have power loom or steam engine really. Good. So right now we're building up for the war against Britain. Like I could declare on it now, but I want to have t some armies ready to. Uh, well, to be honest, they are ready to ship. So let's move this sloop out. Embark the army. Sir. Get it to sea to Europe already. Because the time to attack is when it hits theatre. Um, although this navy is going to be slightly under strength. Or. Do I just ferry them there? And the navy joins them. Because this navy is definitely going. Oh, this navy is definitely going over to Europe. But I want it to be full strength. I can build in Portsmouth. But that necessitates a successful invasion. So the purpose of these... The purpose of the fleets carrying these small um, armies is to just um, dump them off the coast and not necessarily survive the inevitable um, counter-strike from the Royal Navy. So you're still converting your way along quite nicely. Then you have to work your way down to Charleston and then all these areas down here. More ships recruited in the Caribbean. Okay, let's jump this guy. Well, let's just add a couple more. Fifth rate it's just to make, you know, rather than having one being built on turn four, I may as well upgrade it so that you get three for turn four. Just don't want to upgrade it yet. Okay, things are going pretty good. We're about to get reorganised procurement. So then we can upgrade our military buildings in pretty much all of our major cities. We want to upgrade our barracks. Yeah, so I do have that Mughal region in the Caribbean to take, but that's... You know, we can do that whenever we like. That's on the back burner. That's not a that's not a problem. But, you know, yeah, that's the best way to phrase it up. That's not a it's not something we need to fix. Yeah, no, I'm not giving you any money for peace. You come back when that number's all zeros and then we can talk. Reorganized procurement, army board, and gunnery school. So let's pretty much do that in all of our in all of our large towns, although we've not got crazy amount of those good stuff so this is our caribbean fleet it can stay where it is theodore's still replenishing but it's you know we don't need it to be replenished good our fleets are over in the european theater let's upgrade all our farms again Villages are not growing. OK, 
Okay, New Mexico. You have lots of people, don't you? You have 183,000. Okay, let's pick up some... Pick up some militia and start the ferrymen up to New Orleans just to uh, allow them to expand. No. Governor's Mansion upgrade. The Great Estates. Palatial States have been upgraded. If we're upgrading the gunnery school in Caracas, we're upgrading the Williamsburg government building. Lots of clearances, lots of new ports. The Florida building, the government's building is becoming a mansion again. Cherokee Territory and Upper Louisiana farms have been upgraded, I think. Yep, they have. So this fella's still en route. So these guys are going to be the force that invades the uh, mainland India. So we've got three, three armies to invade India with. Or well, soon to be four with Theodore when he's done. We've also got an army here. Although I do want one army to be stationed in, stationed in Caracas, one army to be stationed in Boston to be react, uh, reaction forces for anyone who tries to attack. But let's take Mr. Mirabeau. Declare war. Oh, oh my. They're at war. With, they're allied with everyone. Right, okay. Hmm. <laughs> let's have a look at our trade. So we make a lot of money through trade. Britain's at war with a lot of people. Most of the countries hate us. The Ottomans don't. Sweden dislikes us. Austria dislikes us. I'm, I'm still tempted to go for it. Well, I am going to go for it. Trade agreement. Lost with uh, everyone. Austria's not fighting us. Let's try trade with France. Yeah. Okay, so that's kicked our economy in the knackers because we've now got... Um, we've gone from gaining like 50 grand a turn down to gaining 11. So we better get that. Better get some text income. Ready for battle. Okay, we're just going to auto the attack on Charleston. Good job we got a built. We did build up a bit of a war chest. Uh, tobacco and cotton. What's the most valuable commodity? Cotton. Even though, uh, so even though uh, destinations for our cotton are quite low, let's spend a bunch of money upgrading the infrastructure. So everyone's marching towards uh, Philadelphia and Boston. So we are at war with... Who are we at war with? Minor nation Louisiana is now at war with Hanover, Sweden, the Mughals, Spain, Britain, the Ottomans and Georgia. It's a lot of people. Uh, but let's try and get some individual peace deals. Peace and trade. Okay, if you don't want to make peace with us, that's fine. Um, but just bear in mind that uh, we are coming after you. Ooh, is that a fairly decent force actually here in Britain? I suppose they've got nothing else to really do apart from build up their men. In which case, both of these... Um, well, I was originally going to deploy these armies separately, but actually I'm going to deploy them together. So they can provide mutual support together. So did you? Any further orders? It's quite a lot of. Co <laughs> Wait, that's just loads of generals' bodyguards. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's not going to help you. Uh, okay, let's quickly do our research. So you. Instead, go on to... I mean, you may as well start doing steam engines. Could do interchangeable parts to get upkeep down. 
We must have captured a steam engine factory, which makes it researchable despite not having steam engines. But let's get that. So it reduces upkeep across the board, and we gain wealth, more wealth from town, from uh, from our towns, or more wealth from our towns. That's fine. You're going for preserved foods, which isn't as important now. We need income. Steam pump land drainage to gain the population growth bonuses. Threshing machine, more wealth from farms. Good. Okay, so let's take Didi of Vauban. Ooh, there's actually, quite, there's actually some defensive armies, some units back there as well. Um, but this is going to be the first proper battle against Britain. So, let's do this. We can't make peace with a few nations because there's like an immediate negative penalty. So, countries like the Ottoman SA, that they are friendly, they are actually not. But yeah, making some gains. But at least we are not at war with Austria. So, considering this is a lovely looking hill up here, I think. So I want all my guns up here. To be honest, I want all my army up here. Realistically. I want all my army up here. To build a... Defensive position. So we are attacking them, but I do... Actually, to be honest, it might not, might not really matter. Because they're all one faction. So they can't all enter the field at once. Uh, I might have been getting too keen. But at least we can get our artillery up in a very commanding view of the entire battlefield. So they've got their guns positioned in a place where they can't do any good. Because they've, A, they've deployed them in a really dumb position in the town, because the AI is not that smart. And B, their field of fire probably extends about here. So they, their artillery can't actually attack us at all. Some limber hour guns. Let's probably bring the howitzers further down the hill. In which case, let's turn fire will off for those guns, so they don't inadvertently kill our own men, or kill our own um, artillery. Let's speed up time, because right now we're just moving into position. Triple speed. But yeah, because nothing's going on, let's just max this. Max. Uh, max up the time. So you guys, same thing. Unlimber, but do not fire at will. Okay, now my gunners can engage. Although I'd probably like you to hit this unit of Hussars to the front. First volley unleashed. I do like British cavalry. Those damn red coats, man, they're so snazzy. But we will need to push up and finish them off. And actually looking at it, our artillery is going to be a bit useless in the long-range fight. So let's march up our, our battle line. Like Eisenhower, I very much prefer a broad front strategy. Keep bombarding those, like, those um, hussars, because they're so close. Let's also bring up our howitzers, because they're going to be our close support. So what have they got? Line infantry, Irish volunteers, militiamen, Royal Irish regiments. That's from the additional units mod. 
Western European mercenaries that just look pretty cool. Pretty cool. They look more like um, redcoats in the American Revolutionary War, I suppose. At least to me, they do. But I don't really know my uniforms from that era. We're going to keep bombarding the light cavalry of the Hussars. We'll probably creep our artillery further down the hill. But I want them to have a good stab at bombarding the light horse first. So let's hold fire. This is kind of what I was getting ready for. Let's unlimber get the guns. I was expecting them to charge forward. But our cavalry should beat their cavalry. Our light cavalry would probably beat them alone, but with our cuirassiers we made it a sure thing. So we're going to limber up our guns so we can be a bit more flexible with them. The end, they, their reinforcing units should all come on from the same direction because of the axis of attack we took on the campaign map. Yeah, you should be losing quite a lot. Hoping you can kill, we can kill the uh, hussars before the infantry get into position. Come on! There they go. Keep attacking them just to try and kill any cavalry that get caught within our range. Could run on and attack the guns, but there's no real point. They're re repositioning. May I take some of our light cavalry in there to do some cause some havoc. So our main forward element march up to there. You fellows can march up to about there. And you chaps are going to wait because you may be able to engulf the uh, reinforcing army when they come really the reinforcing armies when they come onto the field let's probably move my cavalry over here to avoid the spikes the guns can probably one unit to deposit on that plateau this unit can probably go where my howitzers are my howitzers can push up Let's push up on elements nearest their front line. A bit more aggressively. So when the Hussars route, that will give us an indication of where their men are coming on from. So let's go back to our light cavalry. March on to the ninth. So our actual battle line is going to push up. There we go. Now we've hit an actual conventional battle. Halt my howitzers. That's exactly what I thought would happen. So the reinforcing army is coming on from over here. So I want my men to form a... Or some of my men to form a kill box. A good number of the others. There we go. So these men just get into position. And 
too bad about the sound. Again, I have no idea why it does that. It just seems to do it randomly. So my howitzers... You might actually do a bit more support at range. General's bodyguard is going to suicide itself. To be honest, I may click my, my howitzers. They may just keep dropping carcass shot into this area. Just keep dropping it rather than support our forward line. The general's provided a. It's conducted a slight attack against one of our lines, but it's not really something to worry about. Yeah, here comes one general's bodyguard. Yeah, so all they can do is charge as soon as they come in. men that flanked around are going to get hit by our skirmishers. Although they might actually successfully charge our skirmishers. Where is my general? All the way back there. Not super useful. This general's bodyguard's going to get shot to bits from friendly fire. Or from... Well, not friendly fire. Comes another general's bodyguard. Staff officers are going to be a rare commodity. Field artillery can keep engaging. Because enemy horse artillery. Poor old cavalry. Light cavalry is engaging the general's bodyguard here. Okay, let's get my general around the spikes. Okay, let's push my men up into a better position. My light cavalry are routed, that's fair enough. My field artillery, I don't think will... No, they won't kill my howitzers from there. I mean, the horse artillery needs to think first. The chance of these guns... You guys are going to engage the West European infantry. You guys halt fire, reload. And get ready to engage that unit of General's bodyguard. God, the Brits are charging! Suffering from a morale problem. As we pour fire into them at point blank range. So, this reinforcing army is sadly going to have a very, very poor time of it. Big melee combat in the centre as the artillery comes in. Certain their general has fled recently. The 45th just needs to hold. Pikemen are getting into the mix, which is dangerous. Okay, let's get the general around the flank. Let's get my 
your SCA is involved. Because what needs to happen is... Flanking charge to the rear of the enemy positions. Massacre continues on their reinforcing army. Well, that's at least one of their reinforcing armies. That unit back there is that routing general's bodyguard, so no fear there. Charge into the back of the Swiss pikes should cause them to rout. form into a battle line. Good, the Irish volunteers are going to rout. Well, no, they were. A regiment of horse actually routed one of my units. Let's get my cuirassiers back here, take out their cavalry, form these chaps into square. You guys are wavering. Give them a bit of actual support. You're unhappy at getting smashed by the Swiss Grenadiers at close range, that's understandable. Curassiers are after their regiment of horse. You guys get out of square formation. Let's get you back out to safety. Let's pick some better. You know, you don't walk, you run. Cressiers will win against their regiment of horse. Okay, my, that artillery needs to pick new targets. It just does. Both of those men are outed. My reinforcements are a long damn way off. Let's fall my front line back. Keep the houses pouring on. Good musketry. I don't know why those men are out in really. Oh, you didn't even have to fire well on. Fear the 57th. Oh, one guy fired. There we go. Okay, let's go send my cavalry to go take out that. Horse artillery crew, you guys get back. We don't need any more artillery. fall our line back here even more. Curiosities are winning decisively, but they have hit the Swiss Grenadiers. They're not really who I'd like to hit. Target some specific units. You can route, not interested in artillery. Not in range for caster shot yet, not explicitly. Okay, 
Let's get this cavalry out of there now. Now these men are going to be experiencing a serious amount of firepower. Coeur de Bois, they're routing, that's fair enough. Pull this general back. Get rid of that howitzer. You charge that line infantry unit in the rear. They've routed. Pivot my line. Fourth loss guard straight into the 62nd. where their reinforcements are coming on. As long as you don't get caught by too many of these spikes. Yeah, we... oh, <laughs> I meant to click continue, but whatever. I'll take a heroic victory. That was a pretty good battle. First major victory against the British Empire on their own lands. One. Ireland is secured. Let's reinforce, rearm, yes. Mr. Mortier, your men, finish off those that fled from the battlefield. Let's take the Pleasure Gardens. No, actually, Pleasure Gardens are pretty good. Um, I want to, oh, I need to turn. Well, this Pleasure Garden, oh, they've got two Pleasure Gardens here. One of them is going to become a Catholic school and the other an educational building. No, a um, research building. So the battle, the battles are on, I think. That's what we've established now. Uh, let's take... Okay, we won't send you into battle yet. I need to start... I might feed one more army in to support the attack on... To support the European forces, because that's a lot of men. Yep, we've got a lot of rebuilding to do. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.